Sister Leagues of Botan have been heavily nerfed since the Codex came out only days ago. Perhaps the most surprising thing though is that it seems that some people are asking for refunds from Games Workshop, and surprisingly Games Workshop is saying yes. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today I just wanted to talk about one interesting little Reddit thread that got shared with me. One that was quite briefly active just very shortly after Games Workshop nerfed the leagues of Botan quite hard. I thought it was an interesting little interaction between someone who wasn't happy that they'd changed the rules and Games Workshop's customer service, and particularly the community's reaction to people who aren't particularly happy with the army set what they just bought. As I'm sure most of you are well aware by now, the Leagues of Votan are 40k's new army of space dwarves. Their rules have been known for quite a while now, with their codex leaking early, and lots of people playing test games with them. In general, it did seem that they were stronger than just about any other faction in Warhammer 40k, causing a lot of people to basically contact Games Workshop and say that they should be toned down, and Games Workshop actually acted on this surprisingly quickly, issuing an update to the rules just five days after the book came out, changing a whole bunch of points costs, and one interaction with judgement tokens that makes a few crunchy combos nowhere near as good. I don't think this was exactly unexpected, and if anything it is probably better that they make these sort of changes earlier rather than later, but it still does rile people up quite a bit when they buy a book, and then all of a sudden it's out of date within days of them having purchased it. On this particular Reddit thread, someone basically posted a transcript of them discussing with Games Workshop's customer service, and basically asking if they could return the product within 14 days, as they basically felt that it was faulty due to them having the wrong rules in the codex, despite the fact that they'd already opened it and built some of the models. The person on the other end of the customer service transcript basically went away to consult someone else, and said we'll get back to you shortly, and then after a bit of prompting, they did say that yes, they would accept the refund if the person wanted it, obviously provided the person returned their box set in full, and they used the phrase, yes, in this instance, you can. Interestingly, the person who posted this originally has since deleted the post. I feel like that might have been due to the amount of backlash that they received from people down in the comments. The general consensus was that this isn't particularly anything abnormal for 40k, and it does seem like a bit of a waste of good models. It's kind of a shame that the original transcript isn't up anymore, I might be getting some details very slightly wrong, but as best I could tell, the transcript did look pretty legit. It was from the little messaging system that they've got on their Games Workshop website, the green one for fast responses to questions. I don't think that there's any real obvious reason for people to make it up that they'd get a refund on this when other people wouldn't, though of course we will be quite interested to hear if anyone else has decided to take this sort of action. If there is anyone out there who's decided to return their Votan box set, and what kind of response you received from Games Workshop. Honestly, I must admit I'm a little bit surprised that they'd offer this. I guess Games Workshop's customer service in general does have a pretty good reputation. People might make all sort of complaints about the company, but in general I have heard pretty good anecdotes about people having damaged models or defective parts, and then being sent entire new kits from replacements, and generally their customer service system being a little bit more generous than you might have expected it to be. I feel that this big army set one though is a bit of a weird case. They package the codex up with a whole bunch of models that haven't exactly changed, only the rules fulfilled in them in game have. Just seems particularly interesting that they'd refund the entire set once the person has effectively already used the models, even if it's only a couple of pages from the codex that have actually been errated, even if they are quite important rules. Just for some clarification, in this case at least the OP said that they weren't actually aiming to return the box set to Games Workshop. They said they were primarily interested in picking up the box for the models and not for winning tournaments or anything, and they were just curious to see what Games Workshop's response would be when challenged with this sort of question. I have a feeling that the vast majority of people who buy Warhammer box sets mainly do so primarily for the models, and then the game and being good at it are secondary things to that. I certainly don't imagine that a day one errata will actually lead to a massive rash of returns, even if they do offer this as a company-wide policy. Still though, I do always find it pretty interesting when games balance errata actually affects on Games Workshop's monetary policies. I was kind of interested to see all the reactions in the Reddit thread as well, and broadly speaking, the vast majority of the comments in response to the OP were quite negative, generally not liking the idea of returning the box to Games Workshop because of a day one errata. I feel like the majority take the view that it's probably not a good thing to do, though I think that this is a divisive issue, and there will be at least a fair few people who see it completely the other way, as on the one hand, yes, they've shipped a codex that was heavily altered within days of it arriving with the person, a fair few people might have bought the codex for the rules that they knew were in it, or at least the fact that they're strong in game being one of the contributing factors to buying the whole box. It does certainly seem like a change that's going to annoy at least a fair subset of new Votan players, 
not even allowing their army a little bit of time to be thoroughly dominant before being slapped back into line. Either way though, with some big alterations to how the army works, I think at least a few people would say that the entitlements to Games Workshop to offer a refund isn't unreasonable. On the other hand though, I must admit that people who were buying this purely for game rules alone might have been a little bit optimistic in Games Workshop not nerfing them, or just not particularly informed with Games Workshop's normal practices of buffing weaker armies and nerfing stronger ones. I can't see how many people over the past year or so who followed 40k wouldn't expect a strong codex to have got toned down. Perhaps the biggest surprise here is how early it happened, as opposed to whether or not it would. Otherwise, I feel like the things that wind people up in this example a bit are that it's a waste of good models. While it might certainly annoy people to have their army's rules changed from under them as soon as they receive the set, I feel like it's not going to get to the point where most people are actually going to want to return, particularly as it doesn't seem like the army's been nerfed into oblivion or anything. They still look like they're going to be a solid faction, just perhaps not utterly dominant in 40k. I think people aren't particularly keen to see a lot of models go to waste just because somebody doesn't like the rules changes, and the fact that you're returning the models purely for the rules changes might just imply that people who are returning the army set were mainly doing it just to jump on the competitive bandwagon, and people don't seem to have a lot of sympathy for people who do that. I feel like this is a pretty decent example of why people generally argue that you should collect a Warhammer collection because you like the army theme, the models, and the way that you can paint them, and while game rules certainly influence people's decisions and maybe what they might want to pick up next, Getting into an entire faction purely because of the strength of the rules is generally going to be a pretty unwise idea unless you're happy to buy and resell armies all the time. Still though, at least to me I thought this was quite an interesting little exchange, and perhaps just mildly surprised that Games Workshop's customer services do go to the extent of refunding an entire box set because they've changed some rules in the codex. I honestly thought they might be a bit more hesitant to do that, just for fear of lots of people returning the boxes. If they are truly offering this, then I think it's something that's at least worth a little bit of respect to Games Workshop. If you are truly unhappy with what they've done to the faction, then it seems there's quite an easy get out, even if I'd argue that the models and the lore are still quite cool, and the army still looks like it's going to compete very solidly in Warhammer 40k. In any case, look forward to hearing your thoughts about this. Should Games Workshop offer refunds on products that have just shipped that they've changed the rules for? And if they do, should they be praised for offering the refund? Or is this just an expected consequence of them not getting the rules right the first time round? In any case, feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics if you'd like to keep up with Games Workshop's news and updates. I do try and post something new for 40k just about every day. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that All Specs Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, and you can find that link down in the video description below. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, an absolutely massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.